Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Tadwa and in this video we are going to create a student database and compute the result. So first of all we are going to create a table called student. Here on the desktop you can find run SQL command otherwise go to start and here you can see run SQL command. Click on this we are going to get this run SQL command command prompt. Now we have to type connect press enter here it is asking the user to enter username here i'm going to type system and the password is password only which i set at the time of installation of oracle 10g and i'll press enter here you can see it is displaying connected now let us create a table called student i'll write create table student and inside the round bracket, I'm going to write the first field name called roll number and the data type is number and the maximum size is three. Next, I'm going to write the name of the field as name and the data type is var char that is variable type of character and whose size is 20. That means maximum 20 characters of the students can be inserted. Next, I'm going to write subject one marks. Here the data type is number and here I'll use the size as 3 because the student may get sent percent marks that is 100 marks 100 consisting of 3 digits hence I have taken 3. Next I'll go for subject 2. The data type is number size is 3 comma subject 3 data type is number and the size is 3 comma subject Four, the data type is number and the size is 3 subject 5 data type is number and the size is 3 and I'll write subject 6 the data type is number and then closing brace put semicolon and press enter here you can see table created after creating table what we need to do here you can see the next point is insert values into student table. Here I'm going to use the command called insert into. So there are three methods to insert value into student table. So first method I'm going to write insert into student. Here I'm going to write name of the fields that is columns, roll number, comma, name comma subject 1 comma subject 2 comma subject 3 comma subject 4 comma subject 5 comma subject 6 close the bracket then we'll write values here i'm going to write first roll number for example i'm going to enter 1 comma here i have to enter the name for example i'll write deepak so it has to be written in single pair of quotation mark. Why? Because char, var char, and date type of data should be written in a single pair of quotation mark. Here, Deepak is var char type of data. Hence, we have to write it in a single pair of quotation mark. Next, comma. After the name, what we have? We have got subject one to subject six marks that we need to enter, and whose data type is number. So hence we have to start entering values. For example, I'll write 85, 88, 90, 99, even I can write 100. So five subjects marks entered. The next sixth one is, for example, 85. And then closing brace, put semicolon, press enter. Here you can see one row created. So let us enter one more record in a table using the second method so i'm going to use insert into student then here i'm going to write values so instead of writing column names directly i'll be entering values for example roll number is two comma next i'm going to enter the name of the student for example i'm going to enter wani in a single pair of quotation mark and after this, I have to enter six subject marks. For example, I'll enter 90. 
मल्टीपल रेकॉर्ड टू बी इंसर्टेड इन टू दबल राइट सो लेट अस राइट इंसर्ट इन टू स्टूडेंट वैल्यूज एंड here i am going to write ampersand before roll number so i'll write ampersand the column name is roll number comma and the next field is name that is where care type of data it has to be written in a single pair of quotation mark ampersand name and the single pair of quotation mark comma next we have to enter six subject marks right so here i'm going to write ampersand subject 1 comma ampersand subject 2 comma ampersand subject 3 comma ampersand subject 4 comma ampersand subject 5 comma ampersand subject 6 and then close the bracket put semicolon and press enter here you can see it is asking the user to enter value for roll number so i have already entered 1 and 2 now i am going to enter 3 press enter now it is asking the user to enter value for name right so for example here i'll write pratiksha for example right next press enter now it is asking enter value for subject 1 so you can enter any value for example 35 next i'll write 55 next 45 next i'll write 50 next i'll write 60 next i'll write 70 and press enter here you can see one more row is created so in order to execute this same command once again i can use forward slash press enter here you can see it is asking the user to enter the value for roll number now i have already entered three records next i am going to enter four and press enter now it is asking again value for name for example i'll write pradeep and press enter so now we have to enter total six subjects marks for example i'll write here 30 for example next 45 i'll write 60 next i'll write 90 70 over here and next 60 and press enter so one more record is created once again i'm going to go for typing forward slash and enter so once again it is asking the user to enter the value for roll number now i'm going to enter 5 and press enter here it is asking the user to enter value for name for example i'll write here kasturi and press enter so subject one marks that i need to enter for example i'm going to write 90 89 60 40 60 once again 70 and enter so one more record is created now in order to see that whether all these records are entered in the table or not we have to use select all from the table name student and put semicolon press enter so here you can see we have got roll number name subject 1 subject 2 subject 3 subject 4 subject 5 5 and 6 has come down okay so this is how the table is created so after creating uh, and inserting the values into the table what i need to do the third step is you can see here add total percentage and result columns to the student table so now table is already created and now we have to create three more columns so for that i have to use alter command alter table student and here i'll write add and inside the round bracket i'm going to write total and the data type is number here i'll write the size as 3 next i want to calculate percentage so i'll write percentage and the data type is number and here i'm going to write 6 comma 2 so 6 comma comma 2 means what after the decimal point i want to have three sorry two digits correct after the decimal point i want to have two digits 
and all decimal places including dot and the whole number there must be six digits at the max so that represent six okay next comma i'll write result here result may be pass or fail we are going to display hence we are going to use the data type called var care and here i'm going to give the size as 10 and close the bracket put semicolon press enter here you can see table altered so now i'm going to use the up arrow mark to execute the previously executed commands so select all from student i want to check so here you can see we have added total percentage and result so these three more columns are added to the table so after adding these three columns i need to update total percentage and result right so here you can see we have to calculate total percentage and result so how to do it we are going to use update command so here update student set total is the name of the column is equal to so how to calculate total subject 1 plus subject 2 plus subject 3 plus subject 4 plus subject 5 plus subject 6 and put semicolon and press enter here you can see five rows updated right okay so after the total i need to calculate percentage so how to calculate percentage once again i'm going to use update student set percentage is a name of the column percentage is equal to so we can write total divided by six why six because we have got six subjects so hence we have to divide the total by six put semicolon press enter here you can see five rows updated that is percentage column is set with values next the last column is result so uh, we have to print whether the particular student is passed or failed so for that again i have to go for updating the table update student set result is equal to i'll write here in a single pair of quotation mark pass end the single quotation mark and now we are going to use the where clause where subject 1 must be greater than or equal to 35 we'll use the operator called and subject 2 greater than or equal to 35 and subject 3 greater than or equal to 35 and subject 4 greater than or equal to 35 and subject 5 greater than or equal to 35 and subject 6 greater than or equal to 35 yes so if this is true then it has to show pass so I'm, what i'm going to do is now i'm going to press enter here you can see four rows updated why because one of the student got less than 35 marks so hence it is updating only four rows okay so next what we need to do we have to print fail to those student who got less than 35 marks in any one of the subjects again i have to execute update command update student set sorry result set result is equal to in a single pair of quotation mark it has to print fail right so i'll use the where clause inside the round bracket i'm going to write subject one is less than 35 here we are going to use or operator subject 2 is less than 35 or subject 3 is less than 35 or subject 4 is less than 35 or subject 5 is less than 35 or subject 6 is less than 35 put the closing brace and put semicolon press enter here you can see one row updated 
is so now let us display the content present in the table so for that i'm going to use up arrow mark to previously executed commands so here up to select all from student i'm going to press and press enter here you can see it is displaying pass and fail result percentage and even total is calculated yes next what queries that i need to execute here you can see the next queries are write a query to display the list of students who have passed okay next here i'm going to write the query like select all from student where result is equal to in a single pair of quotation mark all right pass and put semicolon and press enter here you can see it is displaying the records of four students now we have to execute the next command here you can see write a query to display the list of students who have failed right yes now i'm going to go for writing select all from student where is the clause result is equal to in a single pair of quotation mark we have to write fail and put semicolon and press enter here you can see pradeep has got failed in one subject that is subject one yes okay fine now after this the next query is what we have to count the number of students who have passed for that i'm going to use the count aggregate function here all right select um, then we'll use count so count all from student where result is equal to in a single pair of quotation mark i have to write pass and put semicolon press enter here you can see four students have got passed okay is yes. so next query is what next query is write a query to count the number of students who have failed right is yes. so now we have to type select count is the aggregate function all from student where result is equal to fail in a single pair of quotation mark we have to write yes next put semicolon enter so here you can see one student who got failed in a examination right so next query is what write a query to count the number of students who have secured the percentage greater than 60 yes now i have to write select all from student where i'll write percentage is the name of the column percentage greater than 60 and semicolon press enter here you can see it is displaying three students detail three students got greater than 60 percentage of marks i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood Thank you.